is Mercedes Gonzalez and I'm the Director of Global Purchasing. We build uh, and plan retail strategies for young designers and new retailers. The little podcast that we've put together for you today is really about the magic experience. I've been often asked um, what is magic and project and how important is it to the industry and to be honest with you, it really is the mecca of the trade shows. It, it is important to both designers that are starting out as well as established brands that want to be seen there and must be seen there. Everybody will be under this roof. It is estimated that 70 different countries uh, participate in the show. Um, over a billion dollars in sales are said to be generated from this show. So it really is going to be a heck of a ride and I hope that you enjoy our podcast. Saturday morning right before we leave for Magic and it's not as early as I would like it to be because I'm trying to switch over to Vegas time. This is my trusty suitcase that I bought about 15 years ago and I have learned to pack this origami style to the hilt. So this is our coach flight, the glamorous back of the plane. This is one of the reasons why we only do carry on. So it's 7 o'clock in the morning, Vegas time, and we're here at the hotel and really planning out the next couple of days, make sure everything's in order. So stick around. This will be my 30th time visiting the show. And I have to tell you that every single time I walk in through those doors, I have to catch my breath. The fashion shows, the excitement, the people, the energy, and once you get in there and you start seeing the, you know, the newness in the streetwear, the creativity that's being developed in fabrics at the sourcing show, you really start getting pumped up and you understand why you're in this business. This is the line. To get into a workshop. This is the problem with like going out anywhere in Las Vegas. It's this big, giant taxi line that plagues every single place. Oh, actually, guess what? It's only maybe about 10 or 15 minutes. So it's about 9.30, which is what, like 12.30 New York time. And now I am trying to find my key. And honestly, just hit the hay. It's been a long day. It's like what, like 6.30 or something? Okay, so yeah, we don't like people that wake up happy. Liz, take that smile off your face. It's too early. <laughs> it started, you know, probably about 75 years ago with the magic show out in California. And in the last 10 years, it has grown to be no less than 10 shows that you have to cover in five days. Right, this is unbelievable. This is the Covenant Project Bag Line. Um, every year, RTR Packaging sponsors the Covenant Magic Project Bag. And this is absolutely insane. But of course, these people are all amateurs because they're standing in the front kiosk of the first door. And if you follow me, I'll show you where the other kiosk is that people don't know about when they're first timers. Uh, this is great, the Project Taxi. Hi guys! 
I hope this guy's part of some kind of show and didn't come dressed this way. And voila, second kiosk for the bag. And guess what? Tiny line. So this is where I'm going to be standing. This is Project uh, Vegas. Uh, this is where it all happens on uh, wholesale. Um, the greatest show on the West Coast uh, to do business with the best, best store, right. best friends. Center Hall. You know, I just want to make a little comment now. The people that say that retail is bad and not doing well, just take a look at how many people are here doing business. And they are doing business. Hello, how are you? Thank you for waiting online. I promise it's going to be a good class. University of Nebraska-Lincoln. Um, I've had a lot of fun. I've seen the buying side and the selling side. It's really exciting. It's very magical. There's just all kinds of people here looking to make money. What are you doing with him today here? Man, you know, this is just a rescue dog, you know. Found him walking down the street, lonely, probably hungry. Now he's eating steak and lobster. You know, living a million dollar home. This right here is just a fashionable shirt so he can just match his owner, you know. first breakfast, lunch, dinner that I've had by myself and not that I'm enjoying it so much but it is nice to just sit there and think and not have to talk and enjoy my soup. So now we're entering the wind show. What fabulous signage they have. is what you make it. You gotta get it. You gotta work for it. It's not gonna come to you. Every this man. is the business we're in. Nothing, right. No two days are the same. No, no two days are the same. This is the last day of the show now. We're about to pack. It all worked out good. And pretty tired now, but I had a good show. So the show is now wrapping up, the excitement's kind of gone, people have started to move on. I know I don't feel the same excitement when I walked in through these doors, but as I walk out of them, I'm pumped up for the next six months. I know that we were very successful at the show, I know that the vendors are alive and well, and business will continue. And I guess that that really is the moral of the story. Of course, I'm always a day late and a dollar short. <laughs> 